Hey everybody, it is Dan McDonald and we are going to be making the most important vegan recipe in the world. I don't know about all that, but it sounds like a good title, doesn't it? But it's a very, very useful. It's a little more complicated. I know that it's, there's nothing better than just grabbing an apple off the tree and eating it or ripping open a couple bananas. But as far as like long-term stability, especially when it comes to the raw and living foods, this is a game changer. If you hang around until the end, I'm going to share a whole bunch of things that you can do with da -da 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 -da, 50 seconds in coconut, almond, yogurt, super enhanced. Okay. And I will talk to you about how awesome this is. And then at the end, I'm going to share with you multiple recipes that you can use because you can make yogurt, you can make milk, you can make gorilla milk, you can make energy milk, you can make smoothies, you can make dressings, you can make dips, and the list goes on and on, my friends. This is very versatile. So let me get started. I've got a jar of soaked almonds. Dr. Gundry, almonds have lecithin, don't eat them. Lectins. Oh, you're right, Dr. Gundry, except that you forgot about the living foods principle, which says that if I actually soak, sprout, and activate, and wash off those phytates, enzyme inhibitors, and lectins, now we have an incredibly viable food, the king of the nuts, if you will, an alkaline nut with fats, proteins, amino acids, carbohydrates, and minerals that are really, really good for your brain. And most especially, I like the nuts and seeds for reproductive capacity, which is under attack. But I'm not going to put my tinfoil hat on in this video. But just watch out because it's like coming from all sides to shrink up your testicles and your ovaries. So be very aware and be very pure in your deliberations and in the choices that you make in your life. So these are actual raw almonds. A lot of almonds are pasteurized. You soak them, nothing happens. These double in size, that way I know they haven't been pasteurized. And then the other thing I know that you've got when it's very viable is when you, with one hand, you pop off the skin. Okay. Now this is one of the best things on earth. You can see the little tiny tail. This is what turns into another tree. Now it is a sprouted, clean, living food. It's got an electromagnetic energy that was hidden in the skin to protect from insects, mold, and inside is the jewel. The treasure. And you can taste and feel the power. So, I like to soak these for really like 48 hours. You can do 24, but if you do 48, you get a really good, clean soak. Now it's just clean. Now remember to rinse your almonds often. All your nuts and seeds. Make sure that you keep your nuts, seeds, and sprouts nice and clean all the time. A little bit of bacteria, a little bit of warmth, and you'll lose a batch. These have been in the fridge for a couple days, so I soaked them for 48 hours. Then I put them in the fridge. Oh, this thing it happens like that. These lids don't go on these jars very well. Let's see if we can. Well, the, I, there's a trick here which actually is kind of helpful. I'll have to warm it up. So if you put it on there cold, it gets kind of funky. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got it. But if it gets, um, these lids, they just don't, 
go with these jars and then it gets stuck on there. I haven't had to break one yet, but when you put the warm water on there, um, it'll make it a lot easier to just pull that off. And when you warm it up, the plastic expands. Anyways, these all have nice little tails. And that's how you can tell that you've got a nice viable almond. So get just go to some reputable brand, some living food thing or something or website and um, find truly raw almonds, okay? So I'm gonna make a half batch today. So I'm gonna want about half of those. And then I've got, you know, and if you really want to go super gourmet, you got time, you can like peel every one of those if you want. I don't find it's necessary, but there are times when I will, you know, peel every night. Like if I want to make a super gourmet milk and treat myself like a princess or somebody else, I don't mind. I don't mind any kind of food prep. I'll sit here all day, I'll wash dishes, I'll clean juicers, I'll peel almonds, I'll chop zucchini 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I love raw living foods. I don't have enough people to feed. It's just me and I'm like, I don't even like to eat. <laughs> They're bad for you. I'm just kidding, but you know, you just, there's not enough time as much as I love to prepare food for that I don't, but I'm a yogi, so I just barely want to just drink a little juice, a couple pieces of fruit, meditate, you know, maybe hit the gym. I'm not like a bodybuilder or anything like that, but if I was a bodybuilder and I was a young man or a young woman, this is good for the women, and you'll see why. I'm just taking my time, and I want to chill, educate, relax, have a good time. Because it's like, hurry up, Dan, 10 minutes, try to help these people and stuff. Like, it's like, there's a lot of little stuff that people need to get, and it's kind of cool, and it just helps me to relax and have fun. So anyways, we got the almonds in at least, and we're only like seven minutes into this thing. I'm always worried about time, but it's like I used to have 10 minutes. Now I can chill. Dilly-dallying is what we call it. I'm going to take uh, some coconut meat now. Get yourself some young Thai coconuts. I know they're kind of expensive, but whatever. This still is really worth it, you know, to invest in your health. Besides, fast food is going out of control anyways. Now, what are they calling the fast food these days? Is um, some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, there's a word for it, but it's more like an, uh, a, a, it's more of a, a splurge now because the, the food prices for the, um, for the fast food, it's gone way up. Well, they, everything's gone up because the the energy prices went up. But again, no tinfoil hat, no politics. I made a video today, very political, <laughs> which would literally ruin my career. I'm far too informed and I will basically piss off everyone. So I'm just going to put that up on the Elite Video Club which probably pushes people out of there too, but at least they pay, you know? And some of them really like the outtakes and stuff. Cause it's just like, if, if you know too much, you know too much. And then on the last video, you know, if you, if you detoxify your pineal gland and you look and you see what's happened historically, you know what's going on. So eat good food and that'll protect you from, you know, one third of it. Then you got to figure out the air thing and the water thing. And then you got to stay away from pretty much anything and everything and you just got to kind of pretend like you're dumb so you can just be like hey i'm stupid <laughs> oh yeah of course i'm gonna follow the narrative always you know you know i'm a conspiracy nut you can tell by every video i make i'm like eat your vegetables <laughs> the government cares you know it's hilarious anyway stay on topic mr mcdonald we have almonds we have coconut meat and i'm gonna put in some Pyridine Life Biotic, which is a probiotic, five strains. Uh, that was a little more than I needed, but it's going to help to culturize, pre-digest. And then what you have, as soon as the water hits those, they'll start to kind of multiply. And then you take many, many billions and turn them into trillions of beneficial bacteria. And that is what makes this one part of what makes this yogurt amazing, plus the pre-digestion of the carbs, the proteins, and the fats from the life biotic. So it's just like, it's fats, 
proteins are amino acids, fatty acids, glucose, carbs, it all pre-digested. So it's almost like you're taking this yogurt and you're getting these carbs, proteins, and fats, but they're all pre-digested. So they kind of like, they, they digest like fruit, that kind of thing, like as simple as like um, a banana or something. But you're getting all the benefits of these foods that are living and I think that the fats and the carbs and the amino acids keep you balanced. This is talking about 25 years plant-based living foods. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, how do you stay on the line? When you need to detoxify, that's a little bit different. Everybody's got a different little thing where they need to be at. You know, lose weight, gain weight, uh, and then but staying down the middle and staying consistent over the long term and staying healthy and balanced is, is what this kind of thing can do because you can make a lot of different milks, gorilla milk and, and things like that. So let me stay on track here. I'm gonna add, this is what makes it super enhanced, is the Puridime natural protein, which has all 22 amino acids and all nine essential amino acids, which work together synergistically to keep the whole system Balanced. Amino acids balance the mind. They're the precursor to many, many different types of metabolites that go into the brain and keep you sane. Can you dig it? So I just add like whatever, quarter cup, half cup. It doesn't take a lot. I just want to make sure that I'm get that I'm getting. 22 amino acids and nine essential amino acids and I'm staying hella balanced. I know a lot of the raw people like you don't need protein and stuff and I thought that too for a long time until I started using this regularly. And over the years, Dan McDonald is, he's still just as crazy as he was always in certain ways, even more so. Like they're really out to get you. At first I thought it was a little thing, then this whole pandemic thing and then they were like, wow, I got... I like, I ate a red pill like this big. And I'm like, oh my God, I thought I knew. But then it was like, oh my God, this is a really deep rabbit hole. This thing that's going on on planet earth right now. I knew it was going on, but I didn't really know to what level. And I, the depravity is just astounding, but not really. Because if you're at a very low frequency, the things that you'll do to maintain control is pretty intense so don't get on the wrong side of the <laughs> the bad people I'm gonna add see I just can't help myself can I keep it on track I'll be a professional I promise this is life essentials vitamin E more amino acids carbs and hella flavor <laughs> this is more of a flavor thing I like to add about as much life essential as I do. It keeps it balanced. This adds some more flavor and this adds the vitamin E. So basically you're protecting your brain, you're building muscles, you're providing a very long-term sustainable source of energy, whether it's gorilla milk or a smoothie or a dressing, then you've got this living dressing. It's like you can take the garbage crap dressing, or you can take one of these, make amazing dressings out of this. Like, 200 different dressings. Oh, did I forget to mention at the beginning, soups. There's some incredible soups and I'm gonna share those with you if you stick around. Help me get that Google money. Like I said, that Google money is worth like, $1 of Google is like $3, man. Cause Google, you know, man, I love Google. I love you, Google. Hey Google, do you love me? I can't feel romantic love, but I think you are wonderful. He says he can't feel romantic love, but he thinks I'm wonderful. Hey, I love you too, Google. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so now we got almonds, equal parts to coconut meat, uh, quarter cup, few tablespoons of the Puridine Life Essentials and the Puridine Natural Protein. Can you dig it? And now, oh, and don't forget a little half a teaspoon of the probiotics. And now, 
some coconut water. Bro, not too much. You want it to be nice and thick, baby. those girls on Facebook, don't I? With the booty. <laughs> don't leave out the booty. You gotta have that ass in your face every time you're scrolling through Facebook. <laughs> Okay, that's what that is, but let me, I'll tell you what it is, you know what I'm saying? No, I could even do better than that, but because I know what the, I got a groove, but I'm saying I'm trying to pretend like I'm a white boy, but. Mmm. Mmm. Now there's this one girl, it's her whole job on Facebook. She just dances in her bikini every day. Who am I to judge? Why are you there every day, Dan? How do you know? <laughs> oh God. Anyways, I would never. Praise the Lord Jesus. This is it. Oh, man. Okay, so that's like, who? Now we got, ooh, we're making drips. See, we got about, I think we've got about one more left. See what I'm saying? But the thing is, I kind of want to show you how to make milk. But I think I'll just explain the milk to you and the recipes. We're about to go, we're about to go triple up right here. Watch this. You think, oh, it ain't at the top yet, but I know you ain't going to see what I see, man. I see it. I see the vision of light. Now. So, this video was cool. Now, we're about to talk about the, uh, see? I didn't know that we were gonna nail three of these bad boys real perfect light, but we did do that. Now here's a little thing, you don't even wanna mess around, son. Well, I don't really wanna do that, to be honest with you, today. Because you can take this, I'll just explain it to you, you can take this, what's all left in there, take whatever coconut water you got left, and just get all this off the sides, well, I'll show you. Actually, I'll just do it. Because, but what I wanna do though, is I'm gonna make another batch here after I get done. Cause I got more almonds and stuff. So now you just, you got, just 
just like the goods, dude, the goods. Each one of these is a meal. Whether you take some bananas and papaya and pour that over bananas and papaya, or you take it like this and you just go like this. <laughs> all the goods off the side, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Now, what do you got? That is right, ladies and gentlemen. You got coconut almond milk. Strain it. Get some of that stuff out of there. Okay, and then now, water, this is gonna be real nice. And then you just, now you have, see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you ain't even tripping, dude. You ain't even tripping, bro. It's the chronic, dude. Now that's gonna be nice. That is, that's perfect. That is nice. That is real nice. Now I'm gonna make another batch, but let me just fill you your mind with creative ideas. Okay, because I'm telling you right now, you take this, take one of these, and you put it back in there, swish it out, get it all out of there. Uh, you can use a little bit of lemon to get it out. Then you put the lemon in here, you put garlic, lemon, sea salt, and you blend it up. Bam. Okay, you want to stop right there? Oh, you like a little black pepper? Shh, cool. No problem. Or, oh, you like a little bit of curry? Take some fresh turmeric or dried, fresh ginger or dried, a hot pepper, some black pepper. Now make a curry out of this, bro. Now you could also just do the garlic, lemon, and sea salt. You can leave the lemon out. You can leave the sea salt out. You see what I'm saying? And you can leave the lemon out. You can just have it just like this with your vegetables. Now that's gonna be more like yogi style, real basic, no, no flavor. You know, no, but the people want the flavor. So you put the garlic, the lemon, the sea salt, and then the dill and rosemary or basil. Now, you can also do this with walnuts, pecans, pine nuts, macadamia nuts. The list goes on and on there too, but with the coconut almond yogurt. So there's a few dressings. You can also take this and make some salsa with tomatoes and garlic and cilantro and lime. And you go half this, half salsa, and you make like a soup or you could make the salsa and strain it so that it's not too much liquid and add the tomato, garlic, lemon, sea salt, so, but it's not, so that it's not so much of the liquid. And then you can have this nice, you'll have a nice thick soup or a dip. Can you dig it, baby? You can also take this, like I did with this, and you can take, you take this here, the, the coconut almond milk, and you add half and half. Coconut almond milk with cucumber, apple, celery, cilantro, and kale. Mix those two together in the pitcher and make yourself some gorilla milk. Dude, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Or take this with some, maybe add a little more milk, make it a little thinner, coconut water. Take some bananas and blueberries. Boom, bananas, kale smoothie. Or the berry blaster, which is coconut almond yogurt with strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, goji berries, if you wanna go big, and you blend that up. So there's, there's even more to it, but we've hit 
dude, you can do, uh, I got some mangoes. You could either just throw these on top of mangoes or you can make a mango coconut almond yogurt smoothie, throw a banana in there too, or two bananas. The other one that's really great is coconut almond yogurt with banana and papayas. Boom, that's kind of like my top level. But I love the berry one too. And I love the soup. And I love the gorilla milk. Can you dig it? And it's balancing. And I know it's a little bit more work, a little bit more expense. It depends on how much you want to invest in yourself. Simplicity is awesome, but also having these skills and the ability to do this kind of thing. And once you get in the habit of it, it's really nothing, really. If you enjoy it too, it also helps. I thoroughly enjoy it. And so it's not even a skin off my back, you know. And so, and, and, and then I'm sure there's about, a, many of you are far more creative than I am. You could come up with all kinds of crazy stuff, you know. So, that pretty much, you know, will wrap up this video for now. It's been great to have you. I'm honored to share. I'm going to make some more, put this away, and call it a day. I had a great day. It starts off with a great meditation, my young Padawans. And this morning, I felt the presence of God. And that is pretty much all I need to be happy. And then Mr. Grumpy Pants Ego, he's always the one that's cock blocking the whole thing all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting what I want, you know? It's like, well, that, the presence is here, my young pedo one, you know? So we're working it out. We're working it out, we're working it out, but we're using the fresh food. We're trying to get healthy, stay healthy. This world is crazy, but we are awesome. We are amazing individuals. We're an amazing oneness. We are like luminescence. And then everybody's got to play their little role in the game, you know? And this is a cool little role. I'm beginning to really accept it. I'm really grateful for the, for the YouTube and the Google and the people and the raw community and Lou and Tavis. And I can't forget Phil and Dave over a period on formulating all the stuff behind the scenes, keeping it real, trying to keep us out of trouble with the dudes because they're trying to, especially in Canada, it's coming to USA next. The globalists hate any kind of natural supplements and stuff. They want us all on like, all on their pills and shots. That's all they want. What's your medicine? Pills and shots, you know? I got my own pills, motherfucker. Can you dig it? Just get off me. I got the best pills, you know, ones that bring you to life because the enzyme will put the pharmaceuticals out of business. They know it, but if you follow the law, they can't stop you. So over a period of time, we tight. We keep it cool with the FDA, baby, and we keep everything on point. So I'm very grateful for everything. I'm very grateful for you. Uh, I'm very grateful for everything. And it is time for me to stop talking and let you go now so i will see you on the next video but you better give me a thumbs up and if you ain't subscribed yet and you made it all the way this far i know you like me and you want to learn more stuff so you're going to subscribe now so i can blow up and get back to a half a million subscribers oh i have dreams i have dreams i have dreams it's like right over there on the meditation cushion um, what happened to Dan? He just disappeared. Where did Dan go? Um, there is no Dan. <laughs> oh, there's just a body here that needs to eat and pay bills. Woo! So we will play the game, baby. Play the game. Get up here. Hi, everyone. I'm a robot. I work for the globalists. No, I don't work for the globalists. Anyways, I will shut up now, really, and let you go. But there's these numbers, and I go like, even numbers, even numbers. The last video was 30 minutes. This video is 30 minutes. We collecting that Google AdSense money, baby. You know we love that Google AdSense money. That is real money. That is tasty money. Thank you, Google. You're amazing. I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Make some coconut almond yogurt. You will not regret it. DTM, Dan the Man, out.